quite uh, in the shifts. So every day someone else basically is working here. And um, we have no we have no boss, but we do it all as a we take decisions as a group and organize it collectively. So everybody is responsible for ordering parts for the financial stuff for whatever. And we meet every two weeks to talk about uh, the important issues. Really? And um, yeah, we opened uh, a year ago. And since then, I think we learned quite a lot oh. about bike mechanics <laughs> and also about how to run a, a bike workshop. Yeah. Do you do uh, workshops teaching others how to fix bikes? Yeah, yeah, uh, we do. Or organized, or if somebody asks you, you tell them? Uh, well, actually, like if someone asks and we have time, yes. we tell them, but also we do it organized uh, on Saturdays. Like this week, there is no yeah. workshop, but last weekend there was a workshop, and it's a three hour workshop where okay. we teach the basics. The basics, okay. Yeah, like fixing the brakes, uh, taking care of the gears, so changing the, the tires. Mm -hmm simple things like this. But also, for example, we did one workshop on on how to build a wheel. Okay, mm -hmm. putting yeah. in the spokes. Yeah. Putting in the spokes, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. yeah, these are the the flyers for the repair. So there might be a workshops. potential for somebody that uh, is thinking of getting involved professionally to come and uh, learn and practice here or something. Because we don't have to have a license to open a workshop, right? Uh, no, you don't. You don't. No. It's not in Austria. You don't have an official qualification yes. to become a bike mechanic. So you can have like a, a, a teaching course for people unemployed or for people that uh, well, in, in the future. I'm we could. That you, we yeah, could. Yeah, but yeah, it's a potential. Uh, yeah, it's like a potential. Um, yeah, but maybe this is not the the right best place for. It's small. No. It's quite small. Yeah. And, well, it depends uh, because you can. Yeah. Also three, so and yeah. actually, I mean, we uh, all of us are still learning a lot. I mean, yeah, yeah. we all uh, self thought uh, mechanics. Yes, 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 yes. Um, Actually, all of the people working here have a connection to the bike kitchen. So we yeah. learned a lot in the... The bike kitchen is more advanced on that aspect. Well, but like in the bike kitchen you, yeah. you come across a lot of things and you help people and you learn a lot. You learn the process. So yeah. we learned probably, mm -hmm. yeah, we learned a lot in the bike kitchen and then just fixing and building our own bikes. Right. And now we uh, we work here and try to like, yeah, we try to how many get people? more uh, professional. Six people. But you say uh, you you are a commercial uh, yeah. ent uh, entity. So what's the what's the difference between you and the professional bike service point? Uh, the difference is that we're collectively run. So we we do it as a collective. We have no no boss that tells us what to do, but we take decisions together. And also we uh, we try to use. Uh, um, with uh, old parts again, recycle, recycle reuse, parts, yeah. and uh, I mean also we're not so much uh, profit oriented, so we don't, like we try to keep the prices low and also if people have no money we sometimes... So you've got lower prices than the professional service, well, services? Well, yeah? than or most, yeah, I think we're still, we're still cheaper than most other bike workshops in Vienna. And the I, how, how, how I was here the day before or wow. on Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. It was my friend was with me. She had a car uh, an accident with a car on Wednesday, and she was astonished how cheap it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To fix oh, yeah. Car. Mm -hmm. And of course, you work on a volunteer basis. Here? No. Yeah. No. No. no we get we get oh. we we get paid. Oh, okay. We do it. We do By it as a hour. job. By the hour. Nobody hour. Okay. But, but you've got but uh, con hmm? like a fixed contracts or no? Well, we have some sort of contracts, uh, but um, basically, if it if it uh, yeah, if we make a lot of money, then everybody gets a lot of money. If so we make sort, sort not much money, then huh? Sort yeah. Of yeah, yeah. So all the money goes is equally distributed to the to all the people depending on how much they worked. And, and we started maybe with three hours, uh, three euros an hour at the beginning. And now uh, and we have the system that we 
get paid also the hours that we we already worked. So the the whole like all the money we have is getting is get paid for for the hours you I worked last year for example also, and now we're on like about eight euros, <coughs> but for all the hours that we worked so far in this place. And all six so people work like full, full time. Not really full time. Um, most of us work part time, and we have other jobs, or we study. And uh, yeah, but one one of us uh, is uh, is working three days, and uh, he he wants to make a living from working here. And did you have any venture capital, or you you had some financial help from from the city, no, or whatever? No, no financial help. All private. Yeah. All private money that was so it's a you rent this place or we it's rent this place yeah no support from the from city. the city or anybody yeah but it works how long one year one year, <laughs> one year already one year's time. yeah but it I mean at the moment the last two weeks it was very sunny and warm and also we had crazy, we yeah. really had a lot to a lot to do a lot of work. Sometimes, mm -hmm. so our goal is that we have always two people working uh, during the day, but last week we had days where three people worked. Mm -hmm. So well, we really the rent? How the high is the rent? I don't know. I is this an expensive district? Or well, quite, quite expensive. Yeah, close to the center. But, yeah. And do you do any ad advertisements or is this just by word of mouth? Mm, by word of mouth, mostly. But for example, these uh, the flyers about the workshops we also distribute in the, in the, at the university and other places. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but basically it's people coming by and they, it's a, also quite a popular bike route along here. So not in order not to go on the Margaretenstraße, the bigger street. Mm -hmm. So quite a few people pass by. Do you also assembly some bikes, like fixed bikes? Um, what we can do, but mostly it's repair what we do, yeah, but yeah, if people come and... Like a ca custom, you know, custom bikes. Yeah, but you know, but we, we don't sell bikes, we focus on repair, I mean, we don't have the space, if you, I mean, this is, you can see this, the second room, there's all the bike uh, sto bikes stored, waiting to be repaired, or mm -hmm. already bikes uh, repaired. And uh, yeah, so we sell sometimes. We sell some bikes. These two. It's not done yet. So and and I think the guy who who fixed it and put some parts is not so sure if he wants to sell it anymore. 